Hello and welcome to Growing Roses from Seed. It is um, June 1st, Sunday, and um, this is uh, week 11. For those that wanted to see the roses, still nothing. Nothing at all, unfortunately. Um, but later on um, in the review, I will show you the roses that I have primed with um, I used a Q-tip and I used the uh, dusting method from flower to flower to see if hopefully I can get some roses from my store bots. Here we go. Here are my roses from the store. They bloomed uh, quite a while ago. And if we can get up close here. You see all that dusting? That's the pollen. So I got a Q-tip, I got in there, I got the pollen from this one to this one, and then from that one to the one in the back, and so on and so forth. So um, I don't know what the timing around that would be, but um, I'm hoping that that will create a rose hip, and then I will have some seeds in there. So we'll see what happens. Here is my... Um, hyacinth and spider plant bed. Um, I have to do some serious trimming on this because I think either um, the cats got to it or something happened. I have to do some trimming. Um, there's some new growth in here back there on the spider plant, but the hyacinths, I don't know if they're getting enough sun because they're not growing as quickly as I've had them in the past. And this one is, I don't know, I think I had them as bulbs for too long. I don't know. That one's a little, a little moldy. Obviously, way too much water. But um, but we'll see what happens. I mean, this is the sunniest part of the of the house, um, besides the actual windowsill. So we'll see what happens with that. Here we have my onion plant, which is doing fairly well. Um, I started taking off these shoots, and then more grow. Um, I cut them up and use them in like eggs and stuff like that because they've got a beautiful uh, light oniony flavor. Um, but I try not to leave them. You see how this is? Uh, it's a little wilted and it'll start to yellow soon, and then it doesn't have such a pungent flavor. So I want to get those trimmed, and then more will probably start growing over here. But uh, here, this right, this bulb thing here will either become a flower or will have seeds and then um, I will have fresh onion seeds from an actual onion rather than something uh, got or something planted out of a packet. Here are my avocados and they're growing, they keep growing. See the new growth up there? But my concern is that the seeds have started to mold and if you look down there that cannot be good so I wonder if um, if I should treat that if I should remove the seeds let me know what you guys think down in the comments section um, I'll probably do three different options because this one obviously I can't see with the exception of the mold that's on top um, because I can't see what the uh, seed is like underneath but um I'll probably try, I'll probably just leave this one alone, I might take this one out, and for this one, um, I don't know, you see that, I definitely have to fill it up. Yeah, I'll try a few different methods, maybe I'll use the, like a fungicide or something on this one. But, uh, yeah, it's still growing, slowly, but it's still growing. So far, the healthiest one seems to be the one that was in the ground. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Um, and I still have to get them in another plant. Well, now I may not get them in another planter. Um, maybe I'll just get them in a deeper planter for each one. I'll get, uh, you know, one of those, um, one of the containers from the Chinese food store. I'll probably go to the 99 cent store and get some plastic containers that they normally use for the larger soups. Yeah, we'll see about that. My very poor citrus plant. This was my lemon tree. I think I killed it. The last leaf came off, and it's starting to die up here at the top. See? So, um, 
I don't know, maybe I'll put it someplace dark so that I can do its root system and maybe it'll come back, but there are no guarantees. So we'll see. Maybe putting it in this container wasn't the best thing. I've been keeping it kind of kind of moist, but not too much. See the, the, um, the moisture down there? So we'll see what happens with that. Sorry, baby. And here <clears throat> is my living room spider plant. This poor thing has been mangled by my cats. It was on a lower shelf and my cats just went to town on it. Um, I have to do a lot of trimming. It's still growing, no problem. Look, see? New growth all over the place. Very resilient plant as far as if, you know, older leaves got totally messed up. Um, but I may have to cut back a lot of this just because it's damaged and I don't want it to have the stress of the damaged leaves. Look at that. Okay, but it's still growing. <clears throat> the main plant is still very healthy. See? You see that one from the side? So it's still doing well. I just have to, uh, yeah, I just have to trim it back where it's damaged. But we'll see. So let's go to the bedroom. Okay, here is the smaller pothos, which is doing well. It's a little dusty. I probably should uh, mist it a little. Um, but uh, look, look at this growth right here. See its casing? Um, it was just this little pointed spire, and then a leaf came out. And look, it's still unraveling. Um, I love watching these things grow. It's uh, magic to me that uh, you just leave them, you give them some dirt, you give them some water, and hopefully some kind of nutrients, and they go. That to me is awesome. Um, this is a huge vine that is looking to wrap around something that uh, I have to put inside here. I have to put that down. You see the little nub there getting ready to throw a root? So I have to affix that to the dirt there. Probably with a uh, bobby pin or something. Maybe a paper clip. But that's doing well. And we have my other plants. Um, so here is the... What did I plant in here? Lavender? I really should probably... Um, make a note of that so I remember. Here are my spider plant babies. Haven't died yet. Still doing okay. Um, there is my bloomed hyacinth over there. And my other hyacinths, which I don't know what they're doing yet. Can you guys see in there? I can't see in there. They're doing something. I don't know if they're getting enough of anything. They're just green and coming up. Um, they're supposed to produce on the first one, like uh, on the first planting, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. Maybe they're not getting enough sunlight. If you have any ideas, just post them in the comments below because I really don't know. Um, let's see. We have uh, the cat palm. Seems like it's doing okay. This one just newly opened up. You see, it fanned out. Um, and it seems to be doing well. It's probably time to water it. Here is my avocado plant. Doing okay. My other pothos. It's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. You see the vines going all over the place now. Uh, it started to wrap around itself it seems. Where is this? Oh no, I got this stuck over here. Sorry, baby. Oh look, that would have been a new growth had I not trampled it with a book. Oh yeah, it's still coming out. Let's see if we can get closer. See it? It comes out of the side of the other plant, which I think is fantastic. So that will be a new baby soon. And here are my roses. 
that I got, um, that I cut off. So let's see how those roots are doing. Uh, oh wow, I think I have to change the method. Well, do you see the... I have to change the method or the way that I'm housing these because... I don't know if you can see that, but there is a growth in there. Oh, let me break you. I'm trying to do this while still holding the camera. Come on, baby. I'll have to change this container because oh, that was totally a thorn in my finger. Ow. Okay, well, if that... Oh. Yeah, that's totally got me with this thorn. Alright, um... Let me see if I can get that out, and then I'll come back. Well, here we go. I hope I didn't damage it. Um... But as you can see, looking on this long stem, got this little, which I think that right there, I think I cracked it by mistake. Just shoot. Well, that was a new growth, you can see, coming from the bottom. And look at the roots. How awesome is that? That came from this root ball here. all these awesome roots came out. I have to see about getting this into a different kind of container. I think the narrowness of this helped with keeping um, the stem upright, but I don't think it's serving its purpose anymore. All those roots, yeah, I need like a glass or something to put that in. I'll have to figure out what to do with that. Maybe I'll cut the... Um, Maybe I'll cut a wider section of that and just keep that upright. I might do that. We'll see. Let's see if I can put this back in now. Without damaging the roots too much. Okay, so I got it back in the container. You could see the roots. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these containers and I'm probably going to cut it here so that it's wider, but it still has the water in there. Um, yeah, let's see if I can do it that way. Uh, these also have roots. Um, they all do, actually. Um, see? They all have awesome roots. Um, Look at that. Isn't that great? So this was a huge success. If you wanted to clone your current roses, just cut them off at the stem. Uh, they should create a root ball, and then you will get awesome ways to, like this, look at this one. This one has a, a growing thing inside. Look at that. It's actually growing inside of there. How am I going to get that out? I'm probably going to have to cut that and, um, yeah, we'll do that. We'll see. Um, I think those are all the plants. Um, oh, I have to show you the ones in the, um, kitchen. Let's go over there. Okay, here are the last bits of, uh, plants. These are the ones that I have in the kitchen still. Here is uh, my leftover um, hyacinth bulb. I just watered it from the top. I have been watering it from the bottom, and I wanted to see if giving it some extra humidity from there, from the top end, would make the roots come out a little more. Um, I don't know what it's doing. It's creating all these green things <laughs> that look alien, but no flowers. Um, I don't know a lot about hyacinths. I only know that I love the way they smell and that they're super dangerous for cats. So I keep them out of their way. Um, but if any of you have seen this or know what the heck 
this kind of growth is, let me know. It's pretty interesting. Um, and here is my other rose, which um, its root bowl is getting uh, bigger. And I would guess that any day now, we'll probably see some roots starting to shoot out. Remember, this one had um, this one had a little bit. This, this was put in water a little later than the rest of them. Um, maybe by a week, I think. But uh, yeah, hopefully something will come out of that. If not, then I might have to uh, give up on that. But um, this is all about trial and error, you know? So thank you guys for watching this week. Um, it is a gorgeous day outside. I am going to enjoy the sun while the weather is still chilly. And um, I will, if I stay to my current schedule, I will see you in two weeks because um, I might be away, but we'll see. I'll try to make a video next week. If I can't, then uh, I'll see you next time. Have a great week. Bye.